In this video, we will see how we can remove or delete the unnecessary space which is occupied by iMovie. So here we are seeing that this iMovie application is open and day by day when we use this iMovie, some files will be stored temporarily and it will cause some space issue. So we need to clean or delete those space. So let's see how we can do. At first we need to close this iMovie. So I'm going to quit this iMovie. At first we need to click the Apple menu from the left top corner here. Once we click there, a menu will be appeared. From there we have to choose system settings. Once we click system settings, the system settings window will be opened. From here we have to choose general and then from this right side we have to choose storage. Once we click storage then it will take some time to load the application and from here we will see all the application lists something like that. We need to go to the documents. There is an icon this is looking like I that means information. We just need to click here and a new window will be appeared. From here we will find different options are there like large files downloads unsupported application and file browser we just need to click file browser and once we click file browser we'll see all the things are there from here we have to choose movies we are seeing that movies 3.57 gigabyte it is storing once we click here then we'll find all the list of the movies related file for iMovie this is the thing actually it is causing the issue that means these are the files basically those are taking that much space we can easily delete those things because we don't need this thing and if we use final cut pro then you will find this type of thing also if you don't need you can also remove those things so i'm going to click here imovie library and then i'm going to click move to trash once we click move to trash this file will be removed and that much space will be recovered and then we can press the down button uh, sorry the down button to close the window and then you can close the system settings window of apple menu now we can also make the empty of this trash and that's it guys in this way we can easily remove the unnecessary space or delete the space which is not needed anymore and can make those space free for our mac computer Thank you guys for watching the video.